Being in a relationship is hard work. You gotta spend some time together. You go to the movies together, eat together. The more time you spend, the stronger the bond. Oh, marriage? Yeah, that too. But I was talking about my Falcons. Some people have dogs, some people have cats, some people even have snakes. I just happen to prefer feathered dinosaurs. But my wife, Julie, she's anything but an outdoorsman. I mean, of course, opposites attract. Eddie's the ultimate alpha male. And I've always thought of myself as kind of a princess. We live in one of the nicest parts of Indianapolis because she wouldn't live in the country. He needed to move here if he wanted to marry me. I was okay with it because wherever I go, the country just comes with me. And most of all, it's falconry. Wife's well, a little jealous of the time I spend with these birds. I get sick and tired of being second to the birds. Everything that we do, the bird is there. He wants to take the bird to the movies. Even, even, now hear me, even if we're getting romantic, you know. Really, who are you married to? Because there are certain things the bird can't do for you that I can. The more time I spend with them in the off season, the better they're gonna produce during the hunting season. He actually feeds these birds in front of the kitchen sink. Not in the kitchen. No, no. Man. Julie's always got some kind of fundraiser going, and I'm always running late. I show up in full camouflage. She's got to take me as I am. And meanwhile, I run an outdoor guide service. So when I'm busy with the wife, my employees, they got to pick up the slack. They don't always get the job done, but they sure are an interesting bunch. We're from south of Indy, where all the rednecks live. Eddie lives in that fancy part of town. It's our job to keep him down to earth, definitely. Big Fish is my right-hand man. How'd I get the name Big Fish? Well, one, my name is Marlon. Two, I'm a man of dimension. He hoards dogs. Oh! 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 If you walk into Big Fish's living room, your keys would scatter like roaches in a restaurant. We have no business being out here right now at all. Eddie's always got me somewhere crazy. I've passed a lot of knowledge down to Alex. Hopefully someday he'll pass that knowledge down to someone else. I guess I thought if I got him out of the country, he would leave these people behind. I got a little bird. I'm gonna take her home. Did I really sign up for this? It's just our life.